What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Great X Gaming. I am Jax, and we are back with Night in the Woods. Uh, so I, I, I said something to this effect. Oh, hello. Hey, I'm at work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello, I am here to be hello, Dad. Update. The robot smells a little weird. Not sure what we missed there. Anyway, hey, boyo. At work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap Falcon, more like it. Alright, so, uh, I think I'm gonna visit B today, because I spent yesterday with Angus, but, uh, my friend also told me how I'm supposedly able to see the stars, so I'm going to try it one more time. But first, Mom! <sighs> Morning. Long night? Yep. Remember those big robot things with Food Donkey? Mmm, you were scared of those. Cried your little eyes out. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. I don't remember this at all. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. Aw, Mom. Okay, so I've got to find my old teacher is what I have to do. They're still working, shit. Boing. 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 Uh, you're gonna make my dog anxious. She poops a lot when she's anxious. Is... Is he the guy? Because she said the grumpy old crow. Fuck! Oh, there's a guy with the telescope up there. Alright, let's see if I can get up there. There we go. Up. How the fuck do I get up to there, though? Here, up here. Can I get across? Hey, hey! May Borowski, you could have knocked on the door down there. Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time I'm gonna call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I'm glad you've accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting Dusk Stars. Dusk Stars is the name of my shoegaze band. Really? No. Is it music of looking at shoes? It's a lot of reverb. Why are we talking about shoes? I forget. Want to have a look? Yeah! Excellent. Alright, here we go. I hope you're happy. Oh god, my eyes! Oh, you want to put the filter on like so. Jeez! The sun is bright. Make you blind. You didn't think to mention this? I just did. Okay. So, stars. I'm looking at the stars. Whoa. What? Boom! Found one! Let's see. Wow! Ah yes, Simone the fighter. She got a gun. Simone lived in a good land. But under every good land are the roots of oppression. And in this land those roots took hold and choked out all else. That was poetic, Mr. Jack, it's Charles Zukov. Thanks, I was just reading the summary off my phone. Oh. We may not have the signal, but we have Wi-Fi! Anyway, when the borders closed and the curfew began, Simone and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated, they sabotaged, they freed the prisoners. Very nice. Simone was one of the first to be identified, but she evaded capture even as the wanted posters went up. As whispers of her grew throughout the land, more and more of her neighbors prayed in the night that Simone would be their salvation. Was she? We do not know where Simone is buried. Ah, oh, goddammit, I knew this wasn't going to be happy. We do know that when things boiled over, she led a charge against the palace gates, and behind those gates were cannons. Oh no. Many years later, when the mass graves were exhumed, her bones were mixed with so many others, it was said that she now lives on, in the bones of all in her country. Jeez, that got dark and sad and spooky. <laughs> that is history. Alright, so this is neat. Are there more? Come on, give me another star. 
I know there's like different ones on different days, so I may just have to come back. But uh, ah, there is one more. There it is. Found one, found one, found one. Let's have a look. Stealing the sea. How come I've never heard of these guys? Eh. By the time they got to these rare stars, the well-known myths and legends were taken. Oh. This one, Stealing, is a tale of the world changing and leaving one behind. These are all gonna be bummers, huh? That's just not for me to say. Is it a bad thing for the world to move on? Well, I mean, this guy probably doesn't think so. Either way, one day his king met a new sage, an astronomer. And she showed the king how the planets and stars orbit in regular patterns and why. And the king kicked Sterling out of his quarters, for the seer had long told the king a different story about the stars. That sounds fair. Is there no responsibility to care for those who labors even one's universe are suddenly replaced with a new one? Are they obsolete? No. What is to be done? I don't know. Uh, isn't there some other job the king could give him? Or some way where he doesn't have to be useful to the king? in order to survive? It's one to ponder. <laughs> the stars, they make one thing. That's both of them for today. Neato! All right, well, cool. So I was wrong, you were right. You are not a liar, I'm just a dumbass. There you go. More stars. Sterling and Simone. By the way, there are also two uh, prequel games for Night in the Woods that I will be playing after this. They're free games that uh, I've got linked up and open on my tab browser. So uh, those will be coming and I will find them. And I think some of them do involve the constellations too, so. All right, let's go visit B. How's the pickaxe? Try not kill me. Unsuccessfully, thus far at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid harvest play tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm like super tired, because everything about my life is exhausting, and I'm doing the work of like three employees, plus a store owner, even though I'm one employee, and I did not own this store. Oh, weird. I thought for some reason you own this place now. You'd think. But also, no, I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin using materials and tools from this store, and bury me anywhere else. Jeez, that got intense. Uh, anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Fine. So are we doing this? Let's hang out. Hi, B. Hi, May. Hey, Jerem. Hey, dude. Jerem's helping me move stuff from under the table cash. Well, I'm knocking off work early to pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure. Ready to go? You got a lot of hammers. Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails. All right, then. He's like something out of a children's book about whatever the hell he is. Dinner at bees. <laughs> this place killed the food donkey. Yeah, kind of. Food. You know, no one who works here had anything to do with that. True. Okay. I need to grab a few things quick. Oh, I thought we were gonna hang out. Uh, we are hanging out. I'm just here to grab something for dinner for Dad and me. Don't feel like doing the big shop tonight. Let me pick out what we have. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you coming to dinner? Can I? Um, I guess. Are you a asking? I wasn't. But now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Yeah! You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. Need, like... A main course and two sides? What counts as the main course? We can stop back in the meat section once you pick out whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. Okay, okay, you hang out on BR back. Just make it quick and not too horrible. Also, Dad's sensitive broccoli. Oh, also, no shoplifting this time. Aww. I can afford a few groceries, May. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. <laughs> Skits, cream greens. Hmm, should I get bakey shaky? That goes well with meat. No. Hmm. 
You know what? Let's go with biscuits. And green beans. Maybe grab something for a box too. Oh, okay. Mac and cheese. My dad works at the deli. We can go there for the meats. Okay. Ahoy there, ladies. Hey, Dad. Hey, B. Long time no see. How are you, Mr. Borowski? Can't complain. Just me and the meats. Meat friends. Helps to stay friendly with your prime cuts and best fishes. True. Still weird seeing you here. Beats the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh, yeah. That was Mr. Armistead. Looks like it's his job to say hello to people? Yep. Called a greeter. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. Alternatives? Not working. Oh. So what are you lovely ladies doing here? Just grabbing something for dinner. How's your dad? All right. What can I get for you ladies? Chicken! Can't go wrong there. Hmm, do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? Yes. Maybe you should come by for dinner sometime. At the Ham Panther? At home, May. I'll grill us up something nice. We can chop up just about anything back here. That would be nice, thank you. Yeah! Okay, let's get our meats. Coming right up. All right, dinner decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. That is how straight up tired I am. It's gonna be great. All right, let's keep on moving. All right, ladies, let's see what you all got. Mm-hmm, yes, okay. Looks completely 100% okay. All right, thanks, Mr. Borowski. Tell your dad I said hello. See you later, dad. Night, ladies. There's something really just nice about this game. Just it's kind of makes me fuzzy. That was fun. Yep, groceries. Really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm is invalid. Shopping is fun. Woohoo. Dinner time. This is okay. Thanks. Yeah, it's all right. Thanks. Yeah, it'll do. Thanks? You did fine, May. Thanks. Can't go wrong with meat and carbs. Thank you, May. I'm really good at food. Food is good. It's okay sometimes. Sometimes? Food is really good. Noted. <laughs> That's really cute. So yeah, we're all paid up till the 15th next month. All right. That rock salt sorted? Yeah, should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Oh, okay, I, I need you to sign some things. I think I might just get to them. Please do, we have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but I don't, Beatrice. Whose name's on the deed? Yours, Dad. Whose name's on the checks? Yours. Oh, this is awkward. It's not just play tonight. We're gonna go hang out in my room. Yeah. You girls have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Yep. May, please. May, please. Thank you. Did you guys just move in? Ten months ago. Why aren't you unpacked? Pretty cool record player. As far as record players go, it was my mom's. I don't have any records. I don't get records. My mom was into them. <laughs> they were retro when she was my age. They're retro now. That's how retro works. So I've got a question. Mm-hmm. Your dad's kind of up and down, huh? He has good days and bad days. Often in the same day. <laughs> Greg's always been like that, too. Just more, uh, zany about it? Well, Greg is probably bipolar. Gee, thanks, Dr. B. Whereas my dad is having a years-long breakdown. You run the whole store now, right? More or less. Yeah, but it's still his name on everything. Yep. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep. And, and, working there every day, too. Yep. I just think you shouldn't. Okay. 
just think you're like selling yourself out. I'm sorry, what? Like, you're not doing anything about it, just reinforce. Is this really the road you want to go down with this? Oh, come on! I don't want to do this conversation! I'm saying it's not right that you just roll over and take it. Take it? Take it? They're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. Why? Ugh. What is your problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek? Repair Guy Creek at the shop? Yeah? Yeah, you met him when we were kids. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. And my dad said no, and then told me not to be alone with him. I don't follow. He's a creep, May. And you know what? He still works for us. Why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people. And even if I could, he's on the crew. And frankly, he's our best guy. Practically heads up the repair team. Since my dad's barely doing anything. And Creek's got a family, and he needs the work. I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, me too. I'm really familiar with that feeling. I'm just saying, if you keep letting these dudes off the hook... Off the hook? Like, you're stronger than this, B. You're like, badass and shit. You, you. Badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I... You are such a shithead, you know that? What the hell? Ugh, what the hell? A lot of times folks can't just choose to do whatever it is you decree to be the right thing. A lot of times people do the things they do because they can't do anything else. You can always choose. Choose what? I don't agree, May. I'm sorry, but honestly, tell me. What is my choice here? Tell your dad you're not going to take this. Tell him what? What is your magic solution that I need to do? I am seriously going to punch your goddamn lights out. You come in here and start telling me how I'm screwing things up. You want to come in here and say, Oh yeah, just it's your dad, who is both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time. You want to come in here and say, Oh yeah, just start this big drama and make your life way more stressful. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, what are you saying then? I don't know anymore. Like, Greg is probably off doing God knows what wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life. You just know what I should do. And you're the last person I'd ask for advice. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry. But you don't get it. You're just like the other night, but all the time. Running around messing with people and taking whatever you want. While the whole mall is falling apart around you. I thought you had a good time. I should go. You should go. Fuck me! I wanted to, like, cement a relationship with B, but I just kind of fucked everything over, huh? God damn it. Come on! L controller! Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How's socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Pleasant surprise seeing you at work tonight. Yeah, I can't believe I hadn't visited yet. Well, you haven't been back long. And you're not usually lurking at the Ham Panther. Who's to say I'm not? Well, it was nice seeing you anyway. Lurk, lurk. <sighs> Shit. This game got too real way too fast. Again. Hey B, you there? Yep. I don't really know how I screwed that up, but I'm sorry. It's fine. Going to sleep. See you later. Okay. Hey kid! hey -o! What you up to? Nothing. Kinda bummed tonight. Oh, why? No reason, just happens. Must be going around. I just got into a fight with B. Oh no, about what? I don't even know, I think I'm just an asshole. You and me both. The asshole twins. We can get matching jackets with that on the back. Varsity jackets. With giant asshole patches on the sleeves. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright dude, I'm cashing out for the day. See ya, duder. Alright, and I'm gonna leave this episode off here. Uh... If you like the episode, you know what to do. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. Let it know.